Amendment? Yes, yes it, it does. does. Lines 13 and 14. We can make it 13 or, or 10. Okay. Let's make it 7. Well, if you don't have reading this is going up on YouTube. Well, the idea of being... Spoken like a true fashion, that's right. <laughs> Well, what are you going to Okay. I just never thought I would hear this kind of time. You don't have anything to hide here all right. All right, that's enough. I've been right, reading about Stalin, and this reminds me of Stalin. That, everybody, you're out of order now. Quiet down. Let's get back to this bill. Okay? Everybody has the right to their own opinion. Okay? And what I meant, Mark, was I don't think this violates anybody's liberty by this plate going through it. They're gone in three seconds. It would be impossible. Three minutes. Three minutes. I'm sorry. Three minutes. Three minutes. It would be absolutely impossible to keep any of all of these uh, plates that you could run. And you had a chance to see it. Did you I, go for as a ride? matter of fact, I did no. see that. When they had that fancy car here up, parked up front in our last committee hearing, I sat in the vehicle and watched this device in operation, the LPR. He had it mounted on the dashboard, cameras front and back. And I started paying attention for about three, four minutes. I saw 20 to 30 license plates scanned. Of those scans on the, on the screen, two were wrong. That's 5 to 10% of the ones I was paying attention to were incorrect. They falsely identified the license plate. These things are not perfectly accurate. Now, the, the idea, the police will say, well, we, we look at it visually to make sure it was right. But the thing is, if it, if it clicks, and if somebody's not paying attention, they're going to start pursuing that person. They're going to, they could very easily uh, violate somebody's rights with the wrong information. These scanning devices are not accurate. They're the not only, perfectly accurate. I saw only, it with my own eyes. The only way that they can pursue that person is when it comes out. The bells and whistles goes on that says that something's wrong. That's but right. what is the difference in scanning cars than a police officer standing on the street corner writing down these numbers and calling them in. I don't think they should do that either. That's, well, that's sort of surveillance. I don't think they should. We're not going to make it easier. I don't think we should make it easier for them. Plus, there's the cost issue. They say it's free money. There's no such thing as free money. These are, it comes from, with grants from the feds. We all pay federal income taxes. There's nothing free here. Representative... Ruby and then Representative Richardson. I have, Robert, a well, I have a problem with people say that we shouldn't be using the new technology that is available. I think that we should be. No more than somebody when they use computers. So we're saying that's new technology may not help with them. But I think it, it helps law enforcement in their job and what they're already doing anyway. But what it does, it makes it to where it's much easier to apprehend someone that may have committed a heinous crime. That is protecting a society. So you do why, please don't this isn't an amount, uh, this is not a debate between the two. That's right. You, you know, I've heard one side of what you know people are saying here, and some of it is justifiable, but it's not all. It's, the problem is, is that law enforcement has a problem apprehending some of these people. And with the new talk technology, it makes it much easier to do so. And like it's been stated in the bill itself, it only packs them for three minutes, and then it's gone away. That, now, this is now the other eight. thing is, is that you told me here that if I owe 10 pocket tickets in Nashua of 15, that the police don't have a right to apprehend those people, they're not breaking the law, while I have to pay my parking tickets if you're a good citizen. So if you're a good citizen, you want to abide by the laws. So this idea of saying, oh, the police has got all this power, they don't have all this power. If they apprehend someone, then and, and they, they, there's a violation, then they have to go in front of a court. This is our system. So making it sound all this thing is all automatic, it is not. It is that anybody that, uh, let's say, kidnaps anyone, we have problems up here in the mountain when people uh, are missing, and you could get someone right off with a number plate if they happen to know that number plate, then it's probably going to save somebody's life. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Representative Robinson. I, I would point out that if 
if I happen to have a photographic memory, and I go in, and I'm a policeman, and I go in in the morning, and there are a bunch of numbers and a bunch of faces on the wall, these are people we'd like to apprehend and arrest for 12 parking tickets, or possible witness to a murder, and these are the faces, and I have a perfect memory, and I go out, and I say, oh, there he is right there. I'll just grab him and ask him to come in. What's the, so I might make a mistake. I have made mistakes in identifying people who I went to high school with or uh, had an accident with the day before, but okay, we don't put me in jail because I made a mistake and we don't throw me off the force because at one time I misidentified somebody. He can prove he wasn't where I said he was because he wasn't, because it was a guy who looked like him. So the machine might do the same thing, but if he can show evidence that it wouldn't have been him to commit the crime and he wasn't in the site and he happened to be uh, in the emergency room or somewhere else at the time, it's no different. But why, when a machine is made just to have a memory and if we all got computers, how many of your friends' uh, phone numbers are in your uh, memory there? You? All of them. All of them. They all agreed to be there. Both of them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the machine can remember all those numbers, and you probably can't. So what's wrong with using a machine who can remember all those phone numbers or all those license plates? And if you weren't where it accuses you of being, then you have the opportunity to say so. And if you don't want people to know you were there, why were you there? Okay. <laughs>